Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you the best monday.com alternatives that you can use for project management. Now I'm not paid by any of the tools that I'm going to show you in this video. This is just like my honest comparison, like honest alternatives that I'm going to show you that I think are really, really similar to monday.com. Now let's start. So the first one I prepared for you and I would name it as a brother of monday.com is ClickUp. Maybe you heard about ClickUp, maybe you know about ClickUp. ClickUp is really similar project management tool. Uh, I can simply click here, add a view, and ClickUp got plenty of views, board, calendar, Gantt, box, timeline, table, mind map, workload, activity, and others. Now, using ClickUp is pretty effective, and both Monday.com, both ClickUp got a lot of good templates. Uh, from my perspective, what I, would, what I recommend to everyone is like, test ClickUp if you actually like it because the interface, how tasks works is a little bit different comparing to monday.com and maybe, maybe it won't be for you because plenty of people say that ClickUp is a little bit difficult to understand and to actually learn how to use it, that it wasn't that user-friendly as monday.com is. Maybe you will like it, maybe you won't. They get really similar, literally everything. So test it out if you like it, if you know, but this is the first one. ClickUp is all right. It's like brother of Monday.com. Then the next one is Asana. Asana, I would name it as simple version of Monday.com, but yet effective. If you're looking just for project management, I want to have list. I want to have some Kanban board, maybe timeline, calendar, and that's it. You're on the right place. Asana is for it, like, like create it. So if I'm working with four people and I'm not, I don't want to have mind maps. I don't want to have like, I don't know, CRM or whatever. I just want to have simple project management for my team. In that way, Asana can be really effective. So, uh, and I like Asana because of it. I was working with a marketing team in one company and they were using Asana only. And what I saw is that it, they were really satisfied with it. It was effective only because it's simple. So that's why I like Asana and uh, for me, it's like better version of Monday.com, but more simpler. Now, let's go further. The next one is Airtable. Airtable is something like Asana, similar to Monday.com, but a little bit more complex than Asana, I would say. So how it works on Airtable, you're going to have workspace. In workspaces, you're going to have tables and in tables, you can create views. And in those views, you're going to have tasks. So I can simply come here, cre create a view form, calendar, gallery, Kanban, grid even. And then I just start adding tasks. Task one, task two, task three. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, then this is how Airtable works. I like it. It's like really simple, but yet it will take a little bit of time to understand how we can use it. But maybe you will like it. And yep. So this is how Airtable works. The next one I prepared for you is a Notion. I personally like Notion. Uh, it's not that complex as Monday.com, but you can make it complex. That's what I like about Notion, that you can make it really simple and you, you can make it really difficult to use or like not difficult to use. That's the not, not the right word, mm, just complex. Now, what I like most about Notion and uh, many people like I have employee and we are using Google Sheets and Notion. Uh, how I use it is that I can simply click new here. And this is, this is the feature that I really like about Notion is that let's say I'm going to, as I mentioned, income report, my, may click on it. What I can do is in my page, in my task, I can add slash table, table in line. I can add table in my page that it's presenting as some kind of like task. And what I could do now in my page, I could create a different page so I can go income like this. I can simply open it and add another thing into it. So there's like inception. You can create and create, create, create and make it really complex like a like a tree, right? Like branches on a tree. And this is how we can do it. it I like it. I really like it. So Notion is a good choice. Uh, comparing to monday.com but you really need to have taste for it you know it's like do you like pizza with ananas on it or no do you like Hawaii pizza no if you like it or if you don't like it it doesn't matter it's your choice and then the most important thing is that it doesn't matter guys it doesn't matter what project management tool you use 
What matters is how effective thanks to the project management you can be. If you can be effective thanks to project management, that's all what matters. And that's what you should definitely focus on. How can I be effective? Ask yourself that. And then the answer comes. Like for me, I will just I will continue straight away. For me, it was really important to eat more healthier, sleep better, and chill out. And thanks to these three things, I could be really damn productive and effective. And I could like literally rule everything in my life. If I sleep well, if I have a leisure time, which is going to be like literally leisure, no work at all. And then if I can actually eat more healthier. And when I started eating healthier, like right now, I don't know what did I even eat. It was some healthy. Uh, I stopped eating meat completely. I tried to limit my sugar, but sugar is so good. But yeah, just focus on what you can optimize in your life, but be kind to yourself. This is really important. Many people are pressuring themselves. It's not effective at all. What you need to be is kind. There was this beautiful post from, um, I don't know, he wrote the book, A New World, or how it's called. Huxley. He said, take it lightly, my child. Even when you do the heavy things, try to do them lightly. And that's really important. So, yes, next one is Zoho Projects. Zoho Projects is a wonderful tool that you can use for actually uh, like managing stuff. What I like about Zoho Projects is that you can actually connect it with whole Zoho ecosystem. So, if you need Zoho CRM, if you need email, if you need, um, like, I don't know, for e-commerce, some inventory, you can use Zoho. If you need sprints, you can use Zoho. That's why I recommend Zoho Projects and check it out if you want to use Zoho ecosystem, Zoho Mail, uh, only because you're going to save money. So if you're using plenty of tools, you can have everything under Zoho. They have a wonderful team, really good support, and I think it can be really effective for you to use it. The next one I have one is a Rake. Rake is really similar to Asana. And uh, I really think that Rike, if you're looking for simplicity, Rike is a good choice that you can use comparing to Asana. So that's something you can definitely do. Now, the last one that I prepared for you is called Smartsheet. Smartsheet.com is like complex version of everything, but in a different way complex. Smartsheet is like project management plus um, Google Sheets or Excel. And what you can do is actually connect multiple databases uh, it's all about data so let's say i'm managing plenty of hotels like five hilton hotels and i need to know all the data and it will be connecting with each other how many people come what kind of revenue generated it will be calculating in that way smart sheet can be really effective with also the task management so to summarize this whole video click up is like brother to monday.com then we have asana and rike which are really similar to each other. It's all about the simple project management stuff for teams, not for individuals. Then we have Airtable, which is a little bit complex. You need to have taste for it. Then Notion and Zoho Project. Notion is good if you like to play around with things and really build it up from ground up. Zoho Project is really great if you can connect it with Zoho ecosystem. But even then, Zoho Project is effective as its own. And then the last one I prepared for you is a smart sheet. Smart sheet is good too, but you need to have uh, connected with a whole, how would I call it? Mm, you just need to have a lot of data for using smart sheet. I really believe in that. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you're going to have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.